Oh, this is sweet. This is. I love this. Welcome back to the channel. This is Renee's Views, and you're welcome to the channel. Okay, so guys, today I will just do a quick one on a fragrance uh, that I've gotten for a bit, and I just don't know why I haven't gotten around to the review in it, but today I decided to do that. So this fragrance is none other than uh, Ser Al Malika Atta Al Galia. It's a Latafa fragrance. Welcome back, Stay guys, to the channel. So today I'll be talking about this fragrance, Ser Al Malika Atta Al Galia by Latafa. Okay, look, at, look at the packaging it's got this white and bronze sort of uh color now the box is it slides out like this that's one of it you thought we've seen it but no 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 and it opens like this now here lies the fragrance okay snugly in this is the fragrance that i'll be talking about today this is Se Al Malika by by Latafa, Se Amalika Atta Al Galia by Latafa. Now it comes in this transparent bottle, save for this side that has got this uh, metallic sticker, kind of. It's got an Arabic writing here, it's got Latafa, and then on the top of the cap, it's got Latafa as well. So, yeah, this fragrance is just. Ooh, it's just the maze balls. Now, this fragrance smells. Similar to two other fragrances that I have, and I'll tell you. Uh, let me just give the notes for this baby. So, this fragrance has got Neroli, Mandarin, Orange, Clove, Atomasia as its uh, top notes. It's got mid notes of roses, saffron, oud, and sandalwood. Then, base notes of vanilla, amber, oud, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. Ooh! Okay. So this fragrance, like off the top, it's an oriental kind of fragrance. But when you spritz it, it comes, you know, maybe because it has the ouds and the sandalwood. This fragrance reminds me of none other than Oud Mood by Latafa. And say a Sheikh Al Shiyuk. Yes, by the same house, Latafa. But the difference between this is this fragrance is sweeter. It's sweeter. It's a tad bit fresher. And when you put it, it is really, really sweet. It starts off woody. It starts off woody. You know, uh, uh, a little bit animalic. And then when it starts to settle into your skin, you can get the rose. You get the rose. You get the saffron. You get the rose. You get the saffron. You get the vanilla. And then you know, it's, it's you get a little bit of an earthy vibe to it. It's slightly earthy. It has this sort of like earthy smell, grassy kind of, but it smells amazing. Like ever since I got this bottle, like I'm already going into it. I do not even play with Sheikh Al Shuyuk. If you think Sheikh Al Shuyuk by Latafa is sweet, you're, you know, you're totally wrong thing. I love this fragrance. Like I do not think it is, um, I don't think it is repulsive in any way. This is a sweet, it is a sweet floral, warm, spicy, ambery, and oriental fragrance. Like when you, you spritz it, you will definitely get the oriental nuance in it. You know, this can be attributed uh, to the oud and the saffron as well as the sandalwood in this fragrance. The musk doesn't really, it's not really musky, but the patchouli is really heavy in this fragrance because it smells sort of grassy i won't say grassy <laughs> like earthy it smells sort of earthy you know the patchouli is very prominent it also gives up that sort of freshness in it it gives us that fresh vibe earthy vibes in it it's totally different like it's not like totally different you know in the opening you get the vibes of oud mood you get the vibes of sheikh al shuyuk but this is an amped up version a sweeter version of those two fragrances like if you use any of that you can understand how this smells I prefer this because as it dries down, the fragrance transitions from that heavy oud that was there, uh, you know, prominent in the opening. In the end, you've got the, the fresh, tad bit fresh, sweet uh, 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 fragrance notes coming through. You've got the saffron in it, so it just makes it smell amazing. The musk in it makes it, the sandalwood just blends it all out, makes it really blended well it gives us that sweetness to the fragrance so the fragrance smells really really sweet Seventy for this fragrance is over 10 hours on my 
skin i kid you not it is a very very wonderful scent trail a heavy scent trail if i must say on my clothes this fragrance is still wearing two days uh like even after a wash if it's not washed properly it will still be smelling this fragrance is amazing like it is strong i would say it's a beast mode fragrance yes it is a beast mode fragrance because it projects really well projection is really really loud you would spritz it and everyone in a room will smell you it smells really good i love the smell of the saffron in this composition the rose in this just makes it perfect it just gives it that the roses are there they come out to pick and smell the rose you can smell the sandalwood you can smell the oud the oud is not just screechy like i always say oud is fine i'm always comparing fragrances with that fragrance because i just cannot stand the oud in oud is pahan that is screechy oud this is well blended well smoothing out this is like this is a sweet oud this is this is wonder like this it smells it gives up vibes of like chocolate tea gives some kind of chocolatey kind of vibes the oud in this is very very sweet the roses in it just complements the fragrance the patchouli gives it that death that earthiness you know the musk in it too makes it it makes it smell amazing it makes it smell sexy this is a sexy seductive intoxicating dark deep fragrance i love it i love this fragrance so much and i'll definitely be getting another bottle like I just think this is just more wearable. It's more wear wear wearable compared to uh, Oud Mood, compared to uh, Sheikh Al Shiyuk. This is, you know, feminine. I'd say this is feminine. This is not. Um, it's still, it's more feminine than masculine. But a guy can totally rock it. It is unisex as well. But it is sweet, guys. This is a very nice fragrance. This is Oud done right. This is one that I think I've been sleeping on for a bit. But now that I've found it, ugh. It's amazing. It's amazing, guys. Um, you you could actually pull a trigger on this. This is a safe blind buy, believe me. This is not one that you buy and you regret. Uh, for people that do not like oud that much, this is like, um, well, I say baby steps oud. This is like baby steps oud into, uh, uh, you know, you going into the oud family, into oriental fragrances. I really like it. It's a fragrance I like. Yeah, I, I like it. I think it's appropriate for everyday wear. I can wear this somewhere, you know, just be careful with how many sprays you do. But as you know, over spray here, I can't help it. Like, if I wear this fragrance, I would over spray it and you would smell me from anywhere. Like, you would smell me before I even get into the room. That's how strong and potent this fragrance is. It's really good. I like it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm scoring it a 9.5 wow. because I love the presentation. I love the, the juice and the performance of this fragrance. So yes, I totally recommend it. So, uh, it's totally unisex. A guy can rock it. A woman can rock it. So uh, yeah, I love it. So that's all I have to say today about Se Al Malika from Latafa.